Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Entertainment Podcast, your source for all things entertainment. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have LaShawn Robinson on the line, and he's founder and CEO over at Huddle Music. LaShawn, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Adam. I'm glad to be here. All right, so uh, excited to get today's topic. So we're going to talk about music trends and the future of the music business. So hot topic, always a good conversation on the podcast. Um, but before we get into that, let's go a little bit further into what you're doing over at Huddle Music. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Yeah, um, Adam. So as you said, I'm LaShawn Robinson. I'm the founder and CEO of Huddle Music. Um, we launched Q2 of this year, so April 1st we actually launched. So congrats. That's, that's awesome. Congrats, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we're based out of the New York City, northern New Jersey area. And i um, just glad to be here to be able to support the independent artists out there. So what Huddle is, is, is we're a new music discovery sharing platform, a community for artists, musicians, bands, producers, singers, songwriters worldwide, and the fans that support them. So in a nutshell, uh, Adam, is, is that we support independent artists because we know under the main platforms out there is that a lot of independent artists do not get recognized. They do not get noticed because of the competitiveness and the focus on major label artists. Man, I love what you're doing, and I'm a huge fan of of helping out the independent artists. And uh, and when I when I look at the and I, I think it's a great transition into our overall topic of trends in music and uh, in the music business. Um, I mean, where do you want to start with that one? Can you maybe paint the picture of what the independent artist is facing out there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So a challenge, one of the challenges is for the independent artist is to come harder than ever for independent artists to break into today's business environment. And if you look around, artists are facing ever-increasing pressures in areas such as promotion and content creation. And at Huddle Music, that is what we're about. We're about promoting the independent artists and providing them content creations. And with that said, the streaming and digital environment offers significant opportunities for businesses that can fully understand how to enable artists to closely collaborate and reach more fans. And that is the primary basis what Huddle Music has been created on, right? And additionally, yeah. music – oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Adam. No, no, go ahead, please. Okay. So additionally, music listening and sharing platforms also need to build emerging talent and promote music diversity. And so with music, there's a range of genres out there that – no one's ever heard of. And, and as I communicate with, and I do my interviews with independent artists, some of these independent artists are just as good, they sound just as good as any mainstream artist, but they don't get the recognition. No one does interviews really with independent musicians. It's always the majors. And so that provides total music an opportunity to go out there and put our place in history. That's a absolutely amazing. And, I, I mean, historically, you know, I mean, you maybe had A&R that went out, saw them at shows, other things to discover the talent. Now that it's pretty much you have to be, a, you know, an expert self-promoter uh, and you have to know digital media, you have to know all these other skill sets that maybe aren't in the wheelhouse of, a, of an independent artist that's sitting there that's just honing his craft or her craft and creating music, right? Correct, correct. And so what is um, so what does somebody I mean what does somebody do like like give us a give us a because there's going to be the, uh, our entertainment podcast a lot of musicians a lot of people in entertainment listen to this so how does somebody they're listening to this and they're like man I knew that I, I get it we we've been talking about this for years with the entertainment uh, artists um, how does somebody engage with Huddle Music like the platform give us a little bit more of the kind of nuts and bolts yeah so we we have two options um, someone can individual can go to the website, huddlemusic.com, H-U-D-L music.com. They can go in and log in, well, actually register it and log in, and then start sharing music, co collaborating with fans, um, users that's already on the platform. Another way to do pretty much the same road, we do have an app on Apple, iOS. They can download the app, upload their information, and then just start connecting 
and sharing information with other artists and fans that are currently on the platform. And so since we've launched Adam, um, we are, we're in, I believe, seven or eight different countries where we have users and, and artists out of. So it's definitely a diverse platform, a diverse uh, range of music and, and listeners out there. And so that Man, that's amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. So what's next for um for Huddle Music as you grow this as you as you start keep bringing on new um new users, new musicians, I mean what's next? What's next? So we've already started. We're out there now uh connecting with the independent artists, giving them a voice. Um and you can see the first two interviews on on Huddle Music on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. We're going out identifying uh independent artist that's out there really moving and shaking this that's out there working hard trying to get recognized but as we said earlier uh the opportunity and the road for them is not as easy uh to get recognized as as a major artist so that's that's the next thing we're doing um also we are going to launch weekly um youtube videos on the music trend being able to teach these independent artists where the music business is going because so many times artists by the time they catch up to where they think the business is the music industry is already six steps ahead and so mm-hmm. that is a gap where independent artists always are in the chasing mode instead of some of the leading aspects of music no that's awesome um what kind of trends are you noticing right now that are just kind of interesting to you that you're just seeing overall and you're like huh this is uh this is kind of new yeah so there, there are a couple of things uh that that are out there, and I just don't think they're on people's um, foresight right now. And, and a couple of them I'll talk about. One is music making tools. So there's apps out there now where anybody, yourself or, or or even myself, Adam, we can create our own sound, and then we can link these sounds, these beats and sounds. We can have our own voice behind them, and we can use these as our music on when we post on social media. And so what that does, it takes away the permission of getting uh, copyright or permission laws to use sound. So creators or listeners would be able to do their own. And so as a, I guess, digital service or as as creators, we're going from a user-generated content to a user-generated music content. Wow. Wow. I mean, yeah, that makes so much sense. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, yeah. So that that is up and coming next, and then there's a big opportunity when you look at that. And as I sit back and reflect on it, what an opportunity for publishing. And I think any music creator out there, uh, where the music is going, I would suggest that anyone uh, that is interested in in developing music or creating music uh, get their publishing done. Uh, the next thing, Adam, is AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, I think. People don't realize that when you go to a gym or you go to a hospital or you go to a restaurant, some people think that is maybe a DJ putting together a playlist. No, that's artificial intelligence. That's artificial intelligence that's amazing. Playing, playing that music, right? And so artificial music will become personalized, you know, not just generated on the slide, but generated for each individual based on their preferences. And so as we, we look at the future of music and you know, from text to voice, music will be mood generated, right? So if I'm in a aggressive mode, anything that, that's out there that motivates me to work out, or if I'm in the home with family and I want seasonal music, that's going to be artificial intelligence doing that for us. And so I just really think people should um, start shifting that mindset. And if independent artists really want to compete and stay side by side with the music industry, we have to know where the trends are going. And that's what Huddle Music will be providing for independent artists. And so other things that will be in the music trend future is is synthetic reality stars, right, or virtual reality stars. And that is where animation and and virtuality really comes to life. And there's already a group out there, uh, KDA. Right, and so it's a virtual reality um, uh, group out there with real voices out there, and the opportunity with with these virtual influence, influencers uh, would be about human artists collaborating with them for 
market campaigns. And so the, the challenge out there will be is that somebody can create a synthetic reality star and have a great voice behind it, and that will be on most of the social media platforms. And going forward in the future, our mainstream artists in some way will be competing uh, with these synthetic reality stars for for attention and sales, et cetera. Oh, for sure. That's a that's a big, big deal. When I've seen that, I think when I've seen the first, I don't even remember their names now, I think it was out of Japan, when I saw the first, like, Instagram, like, millions of users for, like, a robot or a fake avatar type account or something else that had, like, a real life or a real life on Instagram, and I'm like, wow, like, and you see the comments or the other things, and you're thinking, of, and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, people are emotionally invested in these avatars or whatever they even called i don't even know um um but um they're like emotionally involved with them and in my mind when i saw this i was like all this is missing um for this particular thing that i or article i was reading i was like all that's missing is the voice they match the right voice with that and they can create the same type of like pandemonium that a star can create like giving a performance like live and i'm like oh my gosh this is gonna this is that's the next wave i'm, I'm glad you said that it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And so the future of music will continue to be bright. Uh, music right now um, is $25 billion uh, uh, industry right now. It is continuously growing. The United States is still the number one in a large market of, of music. right? And so I feel good about the United States still leading the way, but we have other non-countries, great countries that are that are involving and doing, doing as well. So the future of music is bright. Uh, streaming definitely has put us back in uh, the, I guess the charts were back in 2004. So we're roughly, music now has caught back up to where we were in some of the largest uh, times in music, right? And so it's, instead of selling CDs or, or cassettes now, it's 80%, I know in the U.S., is coming out of streaming. Streaming, so. Man. Awesome. So, Lashawn, if somebody is listening to this, and I talked to you about this all day, but we're about out of, out of time for this episode. If somebody's listening to this and they want to connect with Huddle Music, I know you left it once, but I want you to do it again. What's the best way for them to connect? Leave the website, social, all that good stuff, please. Absolutely. You can reach us at huddlemusic.com and then also Huddle Music across all major platforms at Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Twitch, um, huddlemusic.com, you can reach us, reach us there, or you can reach me at LaShawn Robinson um, on LinkedIn. Fantastic. Well, LaShawn, really appreciate you coming on the show and uh, sharing more about your um, background and all the great things you're doing over at Huddle Music. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the FY iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Entertainment, definitely leave us a, a com some comments there, but also um, leave, us a, leave us a subscribe. And if you need anything else from us, just head on over to missionmatters.com, and uh, we love to connect. And LaShawn, thanks again for coming on the show. Hey, thank you, Adam. Thanks for having me.